out here doing my winter job, uh, basically snow removal with a tractor. And uh, yeah, I was just thinking this would be a good job for van lifers. Uh, my boss has like 26 tractors. There's snow removal companies all over that do this. But uh, in my case, my boss has 26 tractors. He's got a yard that he parks them at. And it would be great for van lifers, basically. Um, guaranteed income, you're paid a retainer. Uh, paid basically for five months contract. It goes anywhere from 10 to 14,000 for the five months. And that's 250 hours. Um, 250 hours max. So once you've worked 250 hours in the five months, you're then paid 40 to $48 an hour for every hour you're in the tractor. So it's not a bad gig, actually. Um, last year, I worked 170 hours. I uh, got paid $10,000. So it, it works out to, I don't know, I didn't calculate it, but probably close to $55 an hour or so. Um, Basically, these snow removal companies have a yard. Uh, I'm sure they would allow people to park there. And sometimes I'll go a week, two weeks with no snow. So it gives you a lot of time to either do your own thing and travel or, or uh, you know, travel not too far, I guess, because you're on call. But, uh, yeah. There goes our competition. <laughs> but yeah, you'd be able to work on the side doing something else, I guess, uh, as long as you can get away and, you know, go do your snow removal because that would be your first commitment that's guaranteeing you uh, guaranteed pay, you know, 2000 to 2400 a month guaranteed. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not a bad gig. In the summertime, I do camp hosting, which pays a little more, but it's also a lot more, a lot more hours you're putting in. You know, you're, you're full time, six days a week, uh, checking people in, and it's not really regular hours. You, you're on and off all day based on people coming in. But uh, I was just thinking, though, it's, uh, this would be a good gig for van lifers, somebody to, uh, you know, settle down for five months, honker down, get your diesel heater going, uh, gives you a place to park, you don't have to boondock, and when it snows, you go out and work, and you're guaranteed, guaranteed 12 grand or 10 grand, depending on your experience. Um, now driving these tractors is really easy to do. It's not hard at all. Uh, they give you a, a follow track, it's called. It's an app that basically tells you where your next customer is. You may do the same driveway three times during the snowfall, the big snowfalls. Uh, this year, so far, um, in November, it's now Christmas Eve. In November, I had two five hour shifts, small snowfalls. Uh, in December, last week, I had a uh, big snowfall, 40 centimeters we got, and that was basically back to back doubles. So, 32 hours altogether for that snowfall. Uh, and this snowfall is, this one's a strange one. I'm not sure how many centimeters we got, but uh, it came in with a lot of rain in the beginning and we had to get it moved quick before it got too slushy. Uh, it doesn't go through the machine well when it gets really slushy. So we took care of that last night and, uh, and then yesterday all day going through. Uh, cleaning up where the plow was doing 
It was a warm day yesterday, so it was very slushy and wet and rainy. And now the deep freeze has set in, the wind's blowing, and we're getting 5 to 10 centimeters tonight. It's uh, 2 a.m. now. Um, I did have an 8 hours from 5 till 1 a.m. I was off. Went to the van and uh, slept. Had something to eat and made a thermos of coffee and got back to work. Um, I don't live in my van full time. I do in the summer for six months. But in the winter, because I'm in Ottawa and uh, my sons live here, we share an apartment with them, my wife and I. So basically, if I go do the snow removal, I'll stay in the van for a few days till the snow is done on the big snowfalls. Uh, otherwise, I'm in a nice warm apartment, which is nice. I mean, sticking bricks for, for five months out of the year, travel for a month, and then I'm living out of my van for the six months while I do my camp hosting. Um, I think I'll do that again this year, starting in April. The contract runs for snow removal. It runs from uh, November 1st until the end of March, March 31st, is your last day. Um, yeah, a lot of tips too from customers. I got a few Tim Hortons cards. I got customers coming out giving you $20 bills uh, as a tip, which is nice. Helps pay for my subway. <laughs> but anyhow, I think that's a great job for a van lifer is guaranteed income five months uh, I mean if somebody had a little car also they could probably do uber or something on their days off or you know go uh, go work with Amazon deliver packages my son was doing that and he's also doing snow removal and uh, they were giving him the tying him off no problem to go do his snow removal and on the days that he didn't do snow removal, he would go do Amazon. So, double dipping. And uh, it's a way to put some money away so you can travel during the summer. Anyhow, it's just a little bit of an idea, a public service announcement to the van life community. And uh, ciao for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.